Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name is Sturks and welcome to the return of the Obra Din. I've been waiting to play this game since episode 4 of Outer Wilds, that's how long I've known about this, and it's right up my alley. I want to be a mariner, I want to be a sailor, I have a massive interest in maritime history in the United Kingdom. It's kind of what we do. Um, that's what this game's about. I've read the Steam description page. And pretty much all I know is what it says there. It's it's the year 18 or something. This ship was lost and it's now turned up uh, in, in Falmouth, I believe, um, which is a place I have been. So I'm really excited to see this. Other than that, I don't know anything about the game. I know it's kind of barking up the same tree as out of wilds with investigation and such. I, I, I don't know. And that's what I love. Please let me know if there's any other games similar to this or Outer Wilds that you really want to see me play next after this series is concluded. And I will give it my damned best to get into it. What I can say is I love the soundtrack. I've just been listening to this on a loop for like five minutes. Um, just to try to get my head around it. I like it. It's funky. It's kind of giving me like old school RuneScape vibes. Um can't think of any particular songs from that but you, you know what i mean the soundtrack it just kind of chugs along in the background while you're playing i love it so this is return of the Overdin. let's begin um no fates solved fantastic whose fates are we solving lost at sea 1803 the good ship over the din built 1796 london 800 tons 18 foot draft Captain R. Witterill, crew 51 men. Last voyage to the Orient, Cape, rendezvous unmet. Contact East India Company, London office for inquires or testimony. Inquiries, Sturks, English is your first language. This is not good enough. Okay. The Honorable East India Company. I don't know how much you know about the East India Company. Honourable is not one of the words I would use to describe them. Attention, Chief Inspector, Insurance and Claims, London Office. The Obra Din has returned. Dispatch to Falmouth immediately and prepare a full assessment. What do we mean is returned? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like Company Falmouth. Woke me up. Said you'd need ferry to the Obra Din. Not many eager for that job. Seems a bit late if you ask. I didn't. Huh. What's in the box? I don't know. I'll hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! How? Carefully. Oh my god, look at this! Oh, wow! There is next to nothing here, but why am I finding it so pretty? Uh, okay, so we seem to be leaning towards the ship, so... Let's grab hold. And let's get up here. Ain't she a beauty? I mean, to say we're, we're meant to be at Falmouth, there isn't very much of Falmouth to be seen from here. We are a long way out of Falmouth. Like a long way out. Can't, actually, let's let's go let's go up here. Let's let's go see if I can actually see the town. You were dead when I got here. I'm just going to ignore you exist for a moment. Yep, no Falmouth. Is that the sun reflecting? I can't see no- oh, to be fair. No, then what the heck are you? That's the sun, or maybe the moon. What are you- Shiny. Shiny in the deep. Oi! It's too heavy! What do you mean it's too heavy? You're a sailor man, you can do that. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? What do you want 
we do? What do you want me to do? I don't know, can I pop down and say hello to him? Ah, this is... What are you complaining about? Take it yourself or open it here. <sighs> um, there's a book. Can he really not lift that? I've got a big book. What's in the book? Return to the Overdin, a catalog of adventure and tragedy. Preface, I trust that you now find yourself aboard the Overdin. Kind of. I expected this day to come, and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. Regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Oberdin is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone on board. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within but have elected to keep them private for now. Henry Evans There is so much lore. So the journey, so the Atlantic leg. Oh... Okay, so this is really cool. So, Falmouth is it, Falmouth is really important in this time of history because Falmouth was one of our deep water ports, right? Bear with me. You've you've tuned in to watch Sirx play a maritime game. You can deal with the consequences. Falmouth is right here, okay? Um, Falmouth is a deep water port. It's really good because back in the day of sail, to get up to say Portsmouth, um, or Plymouth, you'd have to go up the channel and you'd have to zigzag and it literally it would add days onto a journey meanwhile falmouth which is quite far you know quite far along our coastline you could just get to without having to go up the channel so people would come into falmouth first or they would offload stuff and it's also a packet place so the post office literally our old royal mail in a different name set up an office here and they would use this place to to send stuff all over the place um like lisbon and such i went on a holiday here not long ago and i went to a museum it was very good so we're in falmouth so they went i'm presuming from falmouth off to the canary islands down past cape verde all the way down to the bottom of africa which is cool got the deck plans so i can have a good look around We've got starboard walk Okay, I will try and remember that later. I will look at another time. For now, let's get a bit of an idea. We've got a complete crew and Shh. passenger manifest. Yes. So we are going to have to learn who all these people are. So we've got all the origin. We've got a few Americans. Irish... Austrian, Polish, Italian, Formosa? I can't, I can't read that. I think that says Formosa. I don't know where Formosa is. I will have to Google that. India, Sweden, Wales. Persia still exists at this point. Wow. New Guinea, Russia, Denmark, Wales, India, Sierra Leone. Okay, cool. We've got a nice varied group of people. Sketches of life aboard the Oberdin. Oh! <gasps> This is cool. So we've got different... Oh no, because I'm going to have to identify all these people. At least without a while, I didn't have to recognise faces. I'm not good with faces. Names I can do. Loose cargo. A bitter cold. You know, a lot back. So there's clues. We've got a few clues that we can look at. I say we start, like, at the beginning. So we've got loose cargo. It's expecting us to go to the cargo deck. Right? How how do I... How... I, I would quite like to put the book down, please. 
Q is to get rid of the book. Skim through the entire book first. I beg your pardon? Why? I, w I'm, I will. Okay, so E is to go there. Cool. I'm skimming. Calling. Unholy captives. Again on the card. Like, soldiers of the sea. The doom. Bargain. This chat will remain unknown until you leave the ship and return the book to me. Why? Is that so I can come back and play it again afterwards? The escape. The end. Okay, so we've got different... Oh, cool. This is going to be helpful. So some of these terms I do know. Some of these terms I know the names of, but not necessarily what they would do on a ship. So this is quite interesting. And I can teach you guys. Welcome to Sturks's Maritime Academy. Um, so this is going to be quite cool. Fun fact, the most, the, the best paid person on the ship, other than the captain, would always be the purser. Um, the person in charge of the money. Go figures, right? Um, whatever that is. Open and close the book. Q is the table of contents. Cool. This is my pocket watch. With a funky little skull on it. Memento mortem. Remember death. All right. Is that really too heavy for you? I mean, I know we've probably rode quite far away, so I'm going to cut you a little bit of slack. Okay? Good job, buddy. I don't know who you are, but thank you anyway. Can I climb? Thank you. I love the animations. Like the, the, the holding animations in this are really, really good. Now, it told me something about a cargo deck, right? So... How do I get to the cargo deck where I am? It's going to be on... Okay. So we've got the cargo hold, which is right at the bottom of the ship. I think that looks like it's the bottom of the ship. We've got the main deck, the gun deck, the oarlock deck. And the cargo holds. So that's telling me we need to go to the bottom. Away we go, I guess. Um, let's find the stairs, which hopefully over here. Hello, you. Who are you? I've got a magic stopwatch. No one. Open the door. Kick it in. We break it down and take more than those shells. You bastards may taste exactly what I give you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be laughing. I'm sorry. That is some metal stuff going on there. So I can go back in time. Oh, I'm going to have to learn your faces. I'm going to have to learn your faces. So what has happened to get to the point where the captain now is locked up in his room? I mean, he, he does not look very happy to see it at all. This gentleman looks thoroughly confused or shocked. Hmm? Should have seen that one coming, I think. This is... Oh, I've only got so much time to look. Okay. Okay. I'm used to only having so much time. So what have we learned? So it, it's going to fill this in automatically for me. I think. The end. Location of the corpse. Others were present. Captain! Who is this and how did they die? Uh, this is gonna get out of hand so quickly. <laughs> Who is this? This unknown soul and unknown fate. I mean, one guy got absolutely blasted. Oh, 
Oh, is that the guy? That'll be the guy on the sketch, I'm guessing. Got unknown. That's the captain. I I could probably take that's the captain. Don't know who this gentleman is. Don't know who this gentleman is. I mean, actually, right. Actually, I might be able to wait. I've got an idea. I can't necessarily tell who these guys are, but I can kind of tell what kind of people they are. Right? So if we've got the captain. He's obviously from a bit of a better background. Oh, why is there someone hanging? I didn't even notice that one. Okay, so we've got some kind of mutinies going on. Anyway, so we've got the captain. You can tell that they're all dressed differently. Captain has got the best clothes. Unless there's someone else particularly stylish in here that I'm missing. Captain is the best dressed. They've got a nice hat. Sounds really stupid. If you've got a nice hat, you're probably fairly where to do, well to do in, you know, in the ship's company. The guy who got shot has also got a quite nice hat. Not quite as well dressed, but he's part of the officers of the ship. These these four here, these maybe five. I don't know. There's some quite well dressed individuals here. I think if they've got these these kind of caps, that's I don't know, maybe like a bosun or like a foreman kind of character. I don't really know. All these ones in the let's let's face it, rags. They're going to be just the the standard rates of the ship. So captain. I'm going to say, right, actually, I can actually have a look. Maybe like first, second, third or fourth mate is one of the one of the mates or maybe the bosun. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Let's let's have a look. You, not a clue. You could be anyone. We've got the pistol. I don't think there's anything else to see here, but if worst case, I guess we can come back. And is that my way out? Yes. Fantastic. Now you know why you shouldn't kick down the captain's door when you know for a fact he has a gun. Not that it appears to have done him very much good. So I was going to see if I could like interact with the axe or anything like kind of look at the murder weapon almost. I did notice this little cubby hole. Oh no, that was that one. This is this is really nice actually. I've these beds I've I've laid in one of these beds and they're incredibly uncomfortable. They're just nasty. I love this. Like just just that. That animation, that, it's progressive. Look, as I'm getting closer, he's wrapping his fingers around it. I love it. So we've got the captain's quarters. Captain is dead. So is that gentleman. We've got some knives. We've got like a boarding pike. Guess I should see what happened to you then. Must be in here someplace. <laughs> there I am. The bottom of the sea. That's a lie. Some kind of skiffle. Okay then. Again, can't really tell who these two are. Oh, this is our confused fellow. I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the face. And um, that looks like the captain. The captain's got a fantastic moustache. So what happened then? Because the captain... Oh, has he been stabbed? I think he has been stabbed. That looks like that's made contact. Right. Captain's been stabbed. Ooh. Had a bit of a kerfuffle. His pistol's out of ammo. Oh, ha 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 ha, right. Someone else snuck in from the back. Cool, I, I'm... I shouldn't be getting excited over corpses. Who is this now? Do they die? 
Hmm. This unknown soul met an unknown fate. Oh! This guy was knifed by the captain. Call, okay, I... Memories where this person appears can be navigated from here. This all appeared in two memories. Bookmark all memories where they appear for quicker navigation. Okay. Ah! Use the buttons at the top of the page to edit bookmarks and navigate between them. Good lord. Right, so we've got that. Um, where else do I need to? Where, where are they? I can see them. Where are they? Da, 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 da. Two others were present. So uh, this, this guy, I can click. This, this is the captain. This person's face is no longer blurred, which means that they can now be identified. Use the book and the pocket watch to gather enough information to deduce that identity. Revisit memories on the ship using the pocket watch to study relationships, appearances, and activities. Use the book maps, crew manifests, and artist sketches on pages two to four, along with the individual conversation logs to find clues about names, relationships, appearances, and roles. There were 60 people on the ship when left England. Determining everyone's identity and fate will not be easy. Decisive information is rare. You'll have to make assumptions using partial information. Some identities may only be revealed through a process of elimination. Good luck. This is going to be a long series, isn't it? This is the captain. Without shadow of a doubt, that's the captain. Um, I need to... Go to this one, right? So this is... I don't know if they're the first mate or if they're a second mate, so I'm, I'm going to leave that out. I'm going to leave that. They were shot. How can you get electrocuted? There's electricity... 1806. When was electricity invented? That's, that's a bit of a difficult question because there's multiple times it was invented. Right. Captain Robert Witterell shot this unknown soul. I'm happy with that. Now, who are you? Have you got a bit of a beard there going on? I feel like you've got a little bit of a beard going on. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh I like that as a mechanic. That's handy. Oh. Sucks to be you, boy. Oh, this is gorgeous. I am thoroughly enjoying this. This is... <laughs> also, really good thumbnail material. And I, I can't open anything when we're actually in here then. Okay, cool. Captain is built different, is what I'm gathering. Captain has killed two men so far. As to why they are trying to kill the captain, I don't know. When morale drops, it's usually the person in charge who gets it, really. What happened to you? Are you the captain? Or are you the guy who tries to stab the captain? <laughs> captain is giving main character energy. Jesus Christ. Is that him dead? Let's, uh, yeah, so the gurgling him he's he's not in a good way bless him captain is absolutely going for it and you you thought you were being clever 
when you but is that a lethal blow do we oh okay yep i'm going to argue that is lethal <laughs> This is graphic. Any other ne'er-do-wells trying to sneak up on your absolute hard-ass captain? But the captain has now been stabbed twice. So who is this now? Did they die? They they were I want to say clubbed. Yeah, I'm gonna say they were that that's technically a clubbing, I would say by captain. Um, but they did injure the captain. Right, this makes it sound out that the captain's a really bad guy. If you just had nothing but this information, this unknown soul was shot with a gun by Captain Robert Witterell. This unknown soul was knifed by Captain Robert Witterell. This unknown soul was clubbed by Captain Robert Witterell. Makes him sound like a really bad guy. He's defending himself at this point. I don't know why he needs to defend himself, but you're not looking good, dude. You're really not looking good. Oh. You're not defending you. You're defending someone else. Who are you? I mean, some people would argue it's bad luck to have a lady aboard a ship, which is just a load of rubbish. Um, but some people would genuinely... Oh, this is really soon after this, then. So you got shot. The other guy runs in... Not long after, is what I'm guessing. Unless they just... Well, I, to be fair, I guess they just haven't had a chance to clean up. I don't know. We'll find out. You got very unlucky. Your head was mashed like a potato. Still not convinced what that is. Oh no. Oh no. Right, I'm, I'm gonna presume this is Captain. That's Abigail. Oh, brother, my friend. I shot him dead. I'll be with you soon, my love. No, no, no. Please forgive me. Why? Why? Robert. God. Well, we know. I'm gonna add another soul shot by Captain Robert Witterell. Oh boy, yeah, he's definitely dead. So, 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 so. Unless he shot someone else beforehand. This is Abigail's brother, so we can do a little bit of deduction. Which means, this poor lady is Abigail. And she doesn't seem to be in a good way. And the fact he said, I'll be with you soon, implies she's already dead at this point, actually. No one else was present. Captain Robert Witterall. 
Suicide by gun. Shot himself. This may or may not be correct. What do you mean it may or may not be correct? I just saw him shoot himself. Data validated in sets of three. Correctly identify at least three people and their face that have the information typeset into the book. What do you mean it may or may not be correct? How can, how can it not be correct? He's got the gun. He's blowing his the heart out the back of his well, back. He's lacquering that wall with his insides. And the only other, one, only other person in that room that we know of is dead already, presumably. Well, she's in bed. Is this really where it all happens? So that's where the end happens. What's what's the four exits? Is that that? I know? Oh, I know that four people are dead at this point in the job in the voyage. Anyway, right, what happened to Abigail? Hit by some pretty bad what no way uh, I thought I heard gunfire Oh good lord Oh Abigail I'm sorry Did she say her brother's name was Martin? I didn't know there would be supernatural parts to this game. I uh, know who you are, though you're the one who's now dead. Oh, sweet Jesus. There's so much. Uh, there's. <laughs> oh no! Corpse moved post mortem. How is this? How did she start? So we know she's Abigail. So we need to look for Abigail. She did have a Scottish accent, to be fair. I'm just going to double check that there isn't another Abigail. But to my knowledge, yes, yeah, so it's Abigail. Oscar Witterell. So she. Ah, she's the captain's wife. She was crushed by rigging. Oh, Jesus. Ten others were present. And I've only identified four of them, so we need to get back out there and have another look. Why, why am I shaking? Why am I shaking? Is this just too scary for me? Is this too much for me? So we got half a man. Abigail, lady. Oh boy. Who are you? You're that gentleman. What does that do? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? What am I doing? <laughs> I pressed the button and now I don't know what's happening. I, 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 I don't know what I've done. I don't know what the action is. It's telling me something about this guy. This guy is... 
I can go deeper. Oh. Oh. This is going to show me where he is. Gonna show me where he is. Show me where he is. Oh, well, I know that's where he died. Oh, so now I can see how he died. Right. That's cool. But for now, I need to go and just have another look around all these bodies. Because there was, there was so much going on there. There was so much going on there. So I can skip through that call. So that's Martin. Oh my god. Oh no, don't tell me you had a daughter on board. Yeah, I've already seen that guy. That's the guy with the funky hat. Uh, seen those, seen those. Oh, good lord. This is nightmare fuel. Ah, this is not doing my thalatophobia any favours whatsoever. Right, who were you? I oh, know you were the dude with the funky hat. That means you were the other dude with the funky hat. Right? Oh yeah, you were that one. Paul, um... Ooh. And who else has been... You're doing some good work. You stabbed that beast. Boy, I... Mm. Mm. Is there anyone else here? Anyone else being grabbed? This is nightmare fuel. This is this is literally probably as bad. At, mm. I don't like this. I'm um, I'm going back to current opening. I'm going back to where it's nice, nicer. Hello, Abigail. You're looking lovely. Um, we got attacked by the kraken. How is that going to go down in my report? The good ship over him was attacked by literally the Kraken. Yeah, they're gonna believe that back in London, aren't they? I'm gonna get lap out of place. This is gonna be the last thing I ever work for the East India Company for. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got time for for today. If this is anything to go by, this might be my new hyperfixation. I have absolutely loved this. I love the art style, I love the story so far and the mechanics and everything, I still don't really know what's happened other than Kraken and Captain Witterall is an absolute legend from what I can tell. I need more. I need more. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, I have been Sturks. You guys have been incredible. And I will catch you all later for the next part of our little adventure.